Hey guys, welcome back to another AI video. And today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make consistent AI character with this amazing AI tool. Generally, it's really hard to make a consistent face of any AI influencer, but with this tool, you can do just that. It has features like you can create your own character, even upload your reference image, and then you can generate the exact poses. And this is one of the most important part, get the same face. So this AI tool locks your AI face and it generates consistent images with the AI model's face. So let's jump right in. The name of the tool is RenderNet. And here is the URL. So head over to RenderNet.ai and then click on create for free. Sign in with your Google account. Alright, so this is your homepage. And from here, you can find all the pre-made characters made by this AI. You can choose any of these if you want, or you can create your own. Let's create our own character. You have to upload the reference face. And once it's done, you have to drag the face and put it in the circle. Alright, so after aligning the face, just click on next. Select the style, and go with realistic, and then female. You can select the age, and then click on next. You have to give it a unique name and then click on done. Alright, there you go. Our character has been successfully created. And then you can use this character. Here you need to write in your prompt. So I wrote a girl sitting in a coffee shop reading a book. And after that, just click on generate. Alright, so the AI has generated these two images from the reference image that we have uploaded. And then we just entered the prompt and the AI made these images with the reference of that face. Now if you want to get into more details, you can get few settings here. You can select the aspect ratio if you want. You can select the quality. If you want to generate your images faster, then you have to go with speed. But I would suggest go with quality because you just have to wait a little bit more. But the quality is really good. From the left side, you can change the style. There are a lot of different styles. For example, they have fish eye lens, HDR, professional portrait, macro shots, long exposure, and so on. Let's try a different this time. All right, so now let's check out the studio and then enter your prompt. So I've written a model wearing t-shirt and jeans posing on a city street. After that, just click on generate. All right, so I wrote a model wearing t-shirt and jeans posing on a city street. Alright, and there you go. The AI has generated these two images with the consistent face of our AI character. If you head over to the right, you get few options like character strength. You can click on prompt generator and then you can choose these different options. Hair color, brunette is fine. And then style, let's go with retro. And then you can even select the background. Let's go with busy street. Alright, so once you're done, click on use this prompt. And now you have the prompt ready. Alright, so now let's talk about the pose control. That I mentioned earlier. Just head over to the left and then click on Post Control. Select your reference image here and then just click on it. After that, you have these parameters. If you are not really sure what are these, just leave it as it is. First one is the processor. I'll go with depth. You can go more towards the prompt or you can go more towards the pose. And then you have the resize mode. Alright, so once you're done, enter your prompt. Alright, so I wrote a girl wearing a black jeans and white jacket. So you know the drill. Click on generate. By the way, your entire workspace is here. All you have to do is just zoom out and then you can see all your creations. So whatever you generate, it's gonna get stored here. You can you can click and move wherever you want and then you can zoom in. There is the minimap here. You can click here and move as well. But I like to use the mouse crawler. All right, there you go. The AI has generated these two images. So as you can see, the AI has perfectly copied the pose, but the faces are different. It's not the same as the one that we uploaded. So for that, you have to go to the left and then click on face lock. Upload your image. So this was the image that we uploaded. I'll just select this. Now enter the same prompt and then click on generate. All right, and there you go. Our images are ready. And this time the faces are consistent with our AI model and it has copied the post with this one. All right, so do the same process and then you can keep on creating all these images and then all you have to do, just place it here and then your workflow is ready. So do check out rendernet.ai, it's pretty awesome. Alright, so that's about it for today. That's how you can create these consistent AI characters using the face lock technology. I hope you find this video helpful and if you did, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next video.